coming to the second pouch it forms the palatine tonsil and uh, the remnant of the pouch is uh, represented by intra tonsillar cleft so what happens during the uh, third month of uh, intrauterine life the endodermal lining of this pouch here yeah, this will proliferate to form solid structure that is called as tonsillar bud and uh, then the central part of, of this bud will degenerate to form the hollow trans tonsillar crypt and uh, surrounding mesoderm will form the capsule and the lymphoid tissue which will infiltrate it into it and form the complete palatine tonsil so this uh, intra tonsillar cleft is the remnant of the pouch and uh, the endodermal lining will proliferate to form solid structure and then central part will degenerate to form tonsillar crypts so the second uh, uh, the main thing you have to remember is the second pouch which is forming the palatine tonsil and remnant of the pouch is represented by intra tonsillar cleft in this diagram you can see the tonsil uh, palatine tonsil and uh, this part which is it is showing the tonsillar sinus which is remnant of second pharyngeal pouch coming to the third pouch third pouch and fourth pouch both has two reasons Do dorsal reason and the ventral reason and they are called as dorsal wing or ventral wing you can see there are two areas this one is the dorsal wing and ventral wing here the yellow part is the dorsal wing and reddish part of the uh, is shown by the ventral wing so this is dorsal wing and this is red one is the ventral wing of the third pouch and this is dorsal wing same in the fourth pouch there are two wings dorsal one is the shown by yellow one and the bluish is the ventral wing of the fourth pouch so third and fourth both pouches has a dorsal wing and the ventral wing and dorsal region will form dorsal region of the third pouch this is the dorsal region which is the yellow one it will form the inferior parathyroid and the ventral region which is shown by the reddish one it will form the thymus now the both glands parathyroid and thymus which is form which are formed by the third pouch they lose connection with the pharynx this is the whole structure is the pharynx and now the thymus and inferior parathyroid both will move the thymus will migrate into final position towards the thorax it will migrate downwards and medially and it will pull the parathyroid with it so parathyroid 3 which is formed by the third pharyngeal pouch is migrating downwards and medially with thymus but thymus will move faster and reaches into the thoracic region and uh, it will remain into the position of uh, dorsal surface of the thyroid gland so here you can see this is the th uh, dorsal wing and this one is the ventral wing of the third pouch dorsal wing is forming the parathyroid inferior parathyroid and ventral wing is forming the thymus and this parathyroid 3 will move with the thymus and it is moving or uh, downwards and medially to reach its final position that is in the thoracic region so and here you can see this yellow one and which is the inferior parathyroid is moving with it and it is fixed to lower pole of the thyroid gland on the dorsal aspect so it is the final position of the parathyroid gland and here it is attached to the thyroid and lose connection uh, loses its attachment with the thymus gland that's why the parathyroid is in lower position than the superior thyroid 
So third pouch will form the two structures parathyroid 3 or the inferior parathyroid and thylus. And why the inferior parathyroid or parathyroid 3 is in lower position than the superior thyroid, superior parathyroid because it is migrating or because the thymus is pulling during its descent and uh, but the thymus will move faster and it will reach in the thoracic region and uh, the descent of pa inferior parathyroid will, uh, will be arrested at the level of lower pole of thyroid at its posterior aspect and so it will attain its final position at the posterior surface of the thyroid gland. Now coming to the fourth pouch, the fourth pouch is what it also has two wings dorsal wing and the ventral wing same as the third pouch. Dorsal wing uh, will form the superior parathyroid here you can see this is the dorsal wing and it is forming the superior parathyroid or the parathyroid 4 because it is developing from the fourth pouch and inferior wing this one it will form the ultimobranchial body or also called as caudal pharyngeal complex. According to some authors remaining part of the fifth pouch will fuse with the fourth pharyngeal pouch to form this ultimobranchial body and there will lead to formation of the uh, ultimobranchial body by fourth plus fifth pharyngeal pouch and it is also called as caudal pharyngeal complex and this ultimobranchial body will form the para follicular cells or the C cells of the thyroid gland and these para follicular cells or the C cells of the thyroid gland will form the calcitonin. So fourth pouch which forms the superior parathyroid gland or the parathyroid 4 and uh, it migrates with the thyroid gland and reach on the upper pole of the near the upper pole of the posterior part of the thyroid and uh, it is the ventral wing it is forming the ultimobranchial body which form finally the para follicular cells or the C cells of the thyroid gland and they will be incorporated into the thyroid gland. So blue one is the ventral wing which is forming the ultimobranchial body and uh, the dorsal wing is forming the superior parathyroid or the parathyroid 4. Now here you can see pouches, the first pharyngeal pouch, this one is the first pharyngeal pouch and it is forming the Tubo tympanic recess. Tubo means a stachian tube is forming by this. Tympanic means it will form the tympanic cavity and uh, base form the tympanic membrane. So it is forming first pouch will form external auditory meatus. The second is the tympanic cavity or the middle layer cavity and the tympanic membrane. Now the second pouch, this one that will form the tonsil and the tonsillar sinus is represented by its remnant. Its remnant form the tonsillar sinus. Now the third pouch forms the thymus and inferior parathyroid because of uh, descent of thymus inferior parathyroid attain its lower position because thymus is pulling it and uh, ultimobranchial body and uh, superior parathyroid is formed by the fourth pharyngeal pouch. And this ultimobranchial body will form the parafollicular cells or the C cells of the thyroid gland. So that is all about pharyngeal pouches. First pharyngeal pouch, second, third and fourth. First pouch is forming the middle layer cavity with the stake and tube. Second is forming the palatine tonsil and remnant is presented by the tonsillar fossa. Third pouch forms the inferior parathyroid with the thymus and the fourth forms the superior parathyroid and ultimobranchial body which is forming the parafollicular cells or the C cells. That is all about the pharyngeal pouches and clefts. Thank you.